This is Across the Streams Media Podcast. One, two, three, four. What's up, people? Hey. Yeah. We're going to do a little quickie. Ooh, I like A little quick, quickie, quickie. <laughs> You're here with Bella. And Melissa. Woo! So we've been having some real good traction with the Hinge um, profiles and, um, but anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do today is um, Hinge has this feature where you can um, answer a question, a pre, like a pre-written question that Hinge has uh, in a voice memo. So you can do it with a video now, but the one, um, the voice memos are... Pretty amazing. It used to only be maybe like one out of ten, but now I'd say maybe like like four out of ten, maybe. Um, they range from ah to what the f. f. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the it's ones that you I want to go on Hinge. I'm not single, <laughs> but I'm like I just want to make some of those and just be real yeah. weird. <laughs> yes. So these are non, none of these were um, uh, based on any criteria except for the fact that they have voice prompts. And so the game we're going to play today is called Match That Profile to the <laughs> Voice Prompt. That was really um, long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're so delayed, but I appreciate you anyway. Damn, I was long. Okay. <laughs> so we got six. I'm going to share my screen. This is a visual part, but I'm going to do a lot, uh, try a lot harder on, or do a lot better what? on <laughs> explaining. <laughs> because when I was listening back, I was like, okay, I didn't explain anything when we were looking at it. So mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Where I should have been taking a cue from other podcasts where they like explain what they're looking at. <laughs> So Describe that is, it. it's, yeah. yeah, it's easy to listen to also. It's um, hard though, because if we're looking at profiles and I want to be nice, how do you just, you're like, so he has, um, uh, uh, <laughs> uh how do you say he's fucking ugly? No. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> how do you say he's, how do you say not... this picture is awful <laughs> without saying this picture is awful? I, th I think we do a good job of that. Yeah. Cause we don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm <laughs> Because, like, what if, like, my whole thing is, like, what if one of them sees this and it, like, hits hits them different than, um, like, maybe he was super scared to put a profile out there anyway. And yeah. then we're there talking trash. So we don't do that. And then also we, unless the person know, can find his face on a podcast clip on TikTok, like, the chances are very low. Um and still, we don't go hard on like, oh my god, he's ugly or whatever. No, I, um, it, it would be fun, but it's, no. <laughs> it's more like what someone chooses to put up because that's I think yeah. that's like a guy problem. Women look yeah. at pictures of themselves and they know which ones look good, and I, you know, yeah. And it's like the um, like the female and male gaze, but like women know, generally speaking, like when they look like trash and when they look good and yeah. angles and stuff. Guys are just like. <laughs> That's good. I'm wearing my Marlin shirt. She'll know I like the Marlins. <laughs> but they look like gar like they didn't wash their hair that day or like yeah. <laughs> the angle makes them have five chins. Yeah. I remember um I talked to somebody once. I was like, I don't know if you're the real person. Can you send like a selfie holding the number four? I always do that because then that's they specific. have to take a sel <laughs> selfie and they have to put the exact number I say. So that's like another way I check. And then the picture was like like looking up at the double, at his double chin and then and I was like okay let me help you with your pictures real quick do you like face the light have the light like facing you hold the camera up a little bit like this and then take a picture that way and he did it and I was like effing much better and then I never talked to him again but <laughs> <laughs> but you helped him well I was gonna say if somebody for <laughs> actually found themselves on our on our podcast and went oh real nice real nice contact us and we'll help yeah, you fix your yeah. profile yeah whatever we made fun of we will help you fix it then we'll that, help you fix that is it. on us if yeah. we 
if we joke about it, it's on us to help you fix it and make it better. Boom. Can't fix you though. So if you were just a dick, yeah. <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> but from what we've seen over this past year of research that we've been doing like this, almost everybody could use a little, a little refresh. Tweak. But have you some ever of them looked, are great. Have you ever looked back at your old profiles, just regular, like, um, like when I was even, actually, or no, no, just like regular, like MySpace or like something that's old and you, yes. and you look back and you're like, read what you wrote and it's so cringe you're like ew I sound like an idiot yeah I was like oh that's oh god that's a red flag oh yeah. shit yeah yeah so so we're we here do to it. help <laughs> we actually we have the ability to have co- people call in so that should we had talked about that um Melissa to do mm-hmm. that so um I don't know how to get the word out there but I want to take calls about their profiles and so um you know, we can say we're going to, we can just have our regular podcast going. And then if anybody calls in, which would be pretty dope, then we can, um, whatever. Or you could have like a live consultation and they can send you their, what their profile is, like their picture, what, what it says. And they can call in and we can review it together. That is what I want to (laughs) do. So yeah. So, okay. Okay. What if we do this where, um, they can send in things through bigtimefresh.com because I have it so that you can send in pictures also. So if you go in there, go to, I'll put it on the, on all the pages. So you can go um, do the contact, say um, that you want to be, you want to have your profile looked at on uh, the podcast and then um, I'll reach back out and let you know how to do that. So um, that'd that's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, and, they, and there's whole Reddit threads to this kind of stuff. So it's not like we're, you know. Anyway, that's enough explaining. All right. <laughs> the voice prompt match game. Enter in. I'm going to enter in some game show music. Uh, Should we? Are we doing the the water thing with it? Oh, yeah. Um, so we're doing spit takes. Water. Next time we'll do drinking game, maybe. But Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll right. laugh at ever. Then I won't keep any water in my mouth. <laughs> Tell me if you can. Oh. If you love Kesha as much as I do, or more. Yes. If you love Kesha as much as I do, or more than I do, mm-hmm. so I unironically love Kesha. Well, let that be known. Do we guess now? Do I guess now? Yeah. Do you want to hear it again? No. <laughs> It's hard to I like number one. I can't really see, other than like, is are they wearing a suit? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> if it's number two, I would just like. Nope, you're good there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I just I want it to be number two. I that know. would be extra funny, but um, Let's see. number four. Yeah, yeah. Number B. <laughs> Number B. Perfect. If you want a provider, I am not him. I am a partner. If you want somebody that's going to pay all your bills, I am absolutely not interested in that. I would like somebody that is as equally invested in every way that I am in whatever it is we end up doing or whatever we end up becoming. So again, I am a partner. I was joking. <laughs> oh, uh, is that three? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you better be bringing your own money. That was I, just I, really, it was also just really long. Like that was a lot. Yeah. Like you don't need to say all of that. May, like say one thing, like just be like, uh, you know, I don't want a gold digger or something, but you know, yeah. honestly, <sighs> Let's just say that that's implied. <laughs> it, I would think it's implied or I don't know. Well, there I are feel, special sites if you're looking for like a really rich guy and yeah. you're like, I'm hot enough to have a rich guy take care of me. There are like special sites for that. Yeah. And it's, it's not a really given, a good look saying yeah, right off the bat like, say, do you want all my money? Go to hell. 
Like, all right, like, calm down. Okay, like, bro, what did, what job do you have? Like, I might and what more makes you. you think? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, what what if that's the case? Oh, he and he like that. lives with his mom, and you know, I don't know. You, you never his it just fragile has no... male ego could not take that. I bet. Yeah, there's Based there's no bar ass. for, um, or actually, there's no, uh, we don't know the context of what he means by gold digger in a sense. Like we know, but is, does that mean, you know, we want hundreds of dollars every day, every week? Or are you just saying like split everything? But overall, it's it's negative. It's definitely it's a not negative positive. answer. Yeah, yeah, negative answer. And if it's true, oh. It's true, man. That's what I feel. Okay, but then do it nicer or something. Make it or not the voice prompt. What you could you know? do, actually, even as a voice prompt, is totally flip that and say you're looking for a really strong, independent woman. You're really into that because those are the ones that are going to come with their own finances. Exactly. Point out the good thing instead of like, <laughs> don't ask me for money because I'm not going <laughs> to give it to you. That's a good one. That's really good. Just say I'm looking because then that also builds the um, uh, confidence of the girls who decide to yes. listen to that. Because for me, I'd be like, oh, I'm independent and I make my own money. But yeah. this made me think like, ew. OK, so he just he he. Yeah. Ew. He's already complaining prior He's to already anything. Complaining. <laughs> He's already complaining and he doesn't know what my situation is. What if I'm a millionaire, like right. living life because I had a whatever, somebody died. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you never know. So, because somebody that's, died. <laughs> that's the advice I think we give there is go positive and don't accuse always, every single woman yeah. of right. being poor. Also, just in general, this is general for written bio, spoken, don't, Think about all your worst experiences and bring them up. Good call. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, because I've yeah. heard a lot of that feedback, like, well, like every other woman on here yeah. who says, uh, but like, don't, don't start don't do there. That. <laughs> you wonder why you don't, that's a hundred percent why you don't get, if you have some kind of message in your bio that says, I don't want this, I don't want that, you guys yeah. are such, women just do this, but. You better, might as well not even be on Tinder or whatever, Hinge, because... Go on Grinder then, man, because... <laughs> yeah, because clearly you don't like women, jeez. Not this guy, just the hypothetical yes. ones that we have seen that are like... That just don't complain fuck. about oh, remember women. The, they we had that one Asian time. pen pal one. Like, oh, yeah, no Asian pen pal. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback. Yeah, we um, had to Google, because I was like, what does that mean? Yeah. No, no Asian well, house. and then the other thing is, like, when I talk to guys about it, because uh, they're like, it's all spam. And then, so I was showing them the the um, the guy with the paperback, <laughs> where his back looked like paper, and he had those really cool, he was on a snowmobile, and oh, he had, yeah, like, really yeah. cool pictures. Mm -hmm. They're like, he lives that far away? Oh, that's a bot. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, because I have never encountered one. I, no. um, on our side, because I don't think there needs to be one on our side. No. And I think it would be a waste of resources if those bots were to go on our side, because yeah. it's like there's no shortage of. He thinks that because he doesn't understand the experience of a woman going on one of these because you go on there. Like, I'll just use an example myself as an example. When I went on Tinder a billion years ago, I kind of didn't really want to at first. So I put a my profile picture was me as a zombie from an app. Oh, yeah. A zombie. <laughs> and yeah. I got 8,000 messages immediately. <laughs> like, you're so hot. And I was like, really? My only picture is me bleeding and, like, decomposing. All right. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> yeah. I want to You know see what I mean? Decomposing. Yeah. We don't sure. need bots. <laughs> we have no. No. It would be a waste of money for whoever's trying to freak out pick us out yeah no um i tell you what my sailor moon had um outfit like i know i know what i'm doing i know i'm putting you know vibes out there and they are kind of intentional it's like hey you know what i do <clears throat> dress up for fun not in the bedroom so but you know it's an open invitation apparently to say incredibly 
Rude. Gross. Gross <laughs> stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. Let me see. Well, I don't think it's going to be easy to pull up, but um, let me read off two of them that I got um, on Hinge. They liked the picture that I have. That's Sailor Moon. Um, and the other thing I put in the profile is that I'm not looking for long term. I'm not looking for one night stands. That I, I am looking for friends with benefits. So those are two things working against me when it comes to respect. Mm. <laughs> if I'm looking for bare minimum, not really though. I think men should be ex- respectful at all. But I understand that I'm inviting those types of comments. I guess whatever. Um, yeah. So no, but it is. It, it's kind of true. Like. For anybody who didn't have that in their profile, I doubt they would be getting shit like this. I think you're wrong. I think they would. Really? I think I could be like, I'm looking for a marriage. And they would... They would say... Say something disgusting. (laughs) (laughs) This one, this guy said, uh, commented on one of my pictures on Hinge, said, if you like giving head, let's be friends with benefits. I I roll my eyes at that because whatever. Um, And then the other one was where did it go? oh um so it was under dating me will look like and so this is the one that has the sailor moon outfit and this dude goes you look like you could ruin my life or make it way better and i don't know which part to be more excited for we talked for like a day <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but and um so people are rude Remember all those D pics? I need to go back through my DMs. I'm sure Do you I got some. Remember when ones. we both got um like the same inappropriate message on like Yeah. Nut <laughs> about nuts. Nut. <laughs> can, I, can, can I nut in you? Or can in I, you and on you. Or may I nut for you? Four, four, four. <laughs> one was on <laughs> one was yes, in and one in was four. And four. Four. Can I show you? <laughs> May I'm I not for, for you? you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like just out of nowhere, you just want me to sit there and watch? <laughs> or is there yeah, like, do. but is there an action involved in my, anything on my side? No. Okay, so you just want me to sit there and watch? No, not my thing. Not Thanks, my thing. So it's a lot of guys' things. We know that. Yeah, but it's not. So is effing dogs. Let me let me read one more little text about what? <laughs> the dog. I showed you, but he said, you'll do anything I say. And I said, it's hard to answer that. I've been asked to bark like a dog before. So I thought that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> like, I was like... <laughs> I thought he was going to say, you'll do anything I say. Kind of like, oh, uh, more regular, normal stuff. So like... Yeah, I want you to ask my blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Um, you'll do anything I say. It's hard to answer that. I've been asked to bark like a dog before. And then he goes, I've asked someone that too. And they did. And the harder they barked, the deeper I went. And I was like, what? And so I immediately, <laughs> I immediately sent it to Melissa. And she's like, <laughs> I guess guys like to f*** dogs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. But then, so I go, he goes, and the harder they barked, the deeper I went. I said, so that will be a no on the do anything I'll say. <laughs> um, he goes, I hereby change my answer. <laughs> he goes, LOL, I got you. Maybe if I'm giving you good dick, you could be persuaded. And then I go, no, I promise you on that one, I will not be persuaded. <laughs> See, and I go, what else are you into? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't need to- that sounds like a date rapist because that's somebody that will be like, but well, what if? Be like, yeah, we're not doing that tonight. But well, what if though? Like, no. What if like, we start well, and you no. like it? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to bark like a dog. Is that real? Or is that like, um, you know, like all those weird sex things that can't be real things. Like a dirty Sanchez, like a donkey punch. Is it one of those things that they say because they think it's funny? I don't think so. It might not be, but I've had, like, nerdy guys say, like, what if, like, in the middle of, like, us boning, which we never would, so it's funny that they were saying that in the first place, (laughs) what if in the middle of, like, boning, I, like, me to sound like Chewbacca, and I'm like, what? Shut up. What are you saying? It was a a test. (laughs) 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they're yeah. always, it's uh, for like nerdy guys, it's something like that. Like a beast oh, from a yeah. movie or a, you know. Yeah. So what about the phrase, screwed the pooch? Yeah. It's something. <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> Michael J. had a joke about that. Uh, one of my favorite things, of course, is uh, sketches that are written uh, that do not make it to the show. Oh, yeah. uh, and some of these ideas maybe uh, have not even been written. Yeah, uh, that's true. do you have well, some even favorites? the ones that have been written haven't really been written? They've been like really half thought out. Your idea, the origin of "screw the pooch"? Yeah, I wanted to do a sketch about the first guy to ever said the phrase "screwed the pooch," <laughs> because <laughs> an intern one time messed up a coffee order, and I was like, "Hey, I didn't order this," and he goes, "I'm sorry about that, Shay. I really screwed the pooch on that one," <laughs> and I said. What was that? <laughs> and he goes, screw the pooch. It means I made a mistake. And I was like, no, man. It means you had a <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let us see. Oh, wait. I got to do my drink. Oh, yeah. So I had lunch with a good friend of mine today, and we critiqued each other's hinge profiles. And I had a few suggestions for her and she had a lot of suggestions for me <laughs> so apparently my profile did not represent me she saw me and so i've made some changes to it and um yeah i like to be very self-reflective and i'm always open to criticism so i don't know the point of that yes oh. <laughs> Number five. He just, I could hear the voice and see his face. I'm like, that has to be that guy. That's that guy. No. No. Is it number one? Yeah. Okay. It was between the two of this those. This fucking guy. That's who it is. That outfit. That outfit. Though. Is he wearing, is that a full suit? Is that what's happening? Without yeah, the. That's a suit. Okay. Not... I think his eyes are. No, I guess they're open. If I have, if we have to look and guess, maybe you should not put that picture. Zoom in a little, man. Why are yeah. you out so far? <laughs> Did like, someone take that from a helicopter? <laughs> what the? A we drone? do drone photography. Yeah. Thanks for right. putting up your drone photo. All right, I know for sure which ones go which. So um, I'm not gonna do the water because I get as soon as it starts getting <laughs> warm, I swallow it. I don't have it. <laughs> Oh, that's what she uh, said. Ah, <laughs> damn it. All right. Weirdest gift I have given or received. Oh, yeah, then I can do commentary. Okay. Weirdest gift I have ever given or received. Okay. Probably when I woke up one morning and found gumbo <laughs> on my porch. <laughs> I just thought that pause was funny. Of gumbo on, on my porch. My porch. <laughs> really oh my uh, stretching to get one of them uh, voice prompts in there. Is that two? No. Nope. God, I want everyone to be two. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be so satisfied. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> That one's five, right? Nope. Really? See, it's... Six is honestly really hard for me to even. Is he doing this? Is he doing a like a the? It would be like my what? Yeah, yeah. He was. He's hard to make out what his vibe was from. Yeah, from that for sure. He, he like an introverted metalhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, somebody gave him gumbo. That's an awesome gift, bro. Right. I'm like, someone made you something. That's not weird. Okay, get ready for this. Weed ain't no drug. It is just a plant. I have done the research, all right? It just grows. That's all I do. And if you just so happen as to set it on fire, there are some effects. You know what the effects are? Hungry, happy, slippy. That's it. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. So, yeah, that's legitimately my best uh, celebrity impersonation voice. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Rob. That's number two. <laughs> Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That was so much better than I could have been asked for. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. like, that has to be that guy. Yeah. Scraggly beard, no hair on his head, colored oh. glasses. 
Weed ain't no drug. It is just a plant. I have done the research, all right? It just grows. That's all I do. And if you just so happen as to set it on fire, there are some effects. You know what the effects are? Hungry, happy, slippy. That's it. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. Um. So, yeah, that's legitimately my best uh, celebrity impersonation voice. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Rob. <laughs> do you know, bonus question, do you know who that was? No. I know. I see some of y'all. <laughs> Look, I understand. If you ain't smoking weed because you got a good job, then by all means, make your paper, boo-boo. But if you ain't got no job and you're not smoking weed, I don't know what the f*** you are doing with your life. I really don't. I really don't. Don't give me that about it's a drug. It ain't no mother drug. I done done the research. It's just a plant. It just grow like that. And if you should so happen to set it on fire, <laughs> there are some effects. But that's not the same as drugs. Drugs, you got to do shit to it chemically. You got to add baking soda, water, stir it up. I don't know the recipe. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's some shit you got to do to it. But well, why the fuck is it legal? I don't know. Aspirin is perfectly legal, but if you take 13 of them motherfuckers, it'll be your last headache. <laughs> Long as you've been living, you ain't never heard of a motherfucker overdose on marijuana. You might have thought that nigga was dead. He ain't dead. <laughs> he gonna wake up in 30 minutes, hungry enough to eat up everything in your house. That's the side effect. Hungry, happy, sleepy. That's it. <laughs> That's well, I, I will like, say this much. Um, I didn't think of Cat Williams because he sounded so like he had a southern accent. Yeah, let's do it. Weed ain't no drug. It is just a plant. I have done the research. Weed ain't right? no drug. <laughs> it just grows. That's all I do. And if you just so happen as to set it on fire, there are some effects. You know what the effects are? Hungry, happy, slippy. That's it. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. So, yeah, that's legitimately my best uh, celebrity impersonation voice. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Rob. Hello, Rob. Okay, so, but on, in all honesty, this makes me think he's cool. Yeah, no, I mean, he has, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. He picked he, a funny um, thing to. And that's no, n never what I have guessed. And he has a nice voice, regular voice. <laughs> Luckily. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, correct. So worth it. That was so satisfying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, your face his face voice like, so high. <laughs> <laughs> his voice so high pitched. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. And so, obviously. Can't wait. To see what this is. A special talent of mine is blowing bubbles with my tongue and actually tying the cherry stem with my tongue also oh are we in fucking high school what <laughs> is he talking about <laughs> gleeking what the fuck <laughs> uh that's not a talent bro what? a special talent <laughs> of mine is blowing bubbles with my tongue and actually tying the cherry stem with my tongue also yeah you like <laughs> i'm sorry Blowing bubbles with his tongue. Does that mean spit bubbles? Spit bubbles, yes. That's it's gross. A, that's a what spit bubble. That's what toddlers do. Mm-hmm. Where they go. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's not a talent. That's like if I was like, my special talent is picking my boogers out of my nose and eating them. That's Basically. not a talent. That's just a weird, gross thing you do. Ugh. I blow bubbles with you know, he would be well off but way better off not having one of these. <laughs> like the boys. <laughs> Some this people just like, may skip it if if yeah. you can't say something semi normal. Yeah. Then it's okay. Like don't push yourself for something like this. If you like are excited to do it and and showcase your personality, I think it's great that you do these. If you're reaching, like I don't want to do for it. The answer, yeah. If you're like I don't have a talent. What could I say is my talent? <laughs> skip that one. Don't do yeah. it. Yeah, because you're it should be understand like understand something real weird, like blowing bubbles with my tongue, with my mouth spit. That's literally what 
what five-year-olds do and it drives me nuts when they do it too because it's so gross <laughs> i'm like you're gonna get your fucking germ it's gonna pop and all the germs are gonna, You're gonna go everywhere. all over yeah and then so. they ch- and chasing it with their tongue maybe he needed to make it a video so i can see what he's talking about show i know me. right show me what you mean by that sir let me see you want to blow a spit bubble at me is that what you're saying i don't want to be like you're so talented <laughs> Ooh. I mean, that's it for the presentation, but let me see if I have, if we have a couple more. So what do they call that? Do they call that the okay sign? Do they say it has to be like upside down to be a different meaning? Because it's a specific way you hold your hand and it means like it's different than like, hey, (laughs) hey, okay. Well, maybe, maybe, let's see, maybe it's his like way of being funny because he had the Kesha joke. Right. So maybe he's being... So he might be playing that game. And if it's that game, then it doesn't have any meaning. It's just like, if you get someone to look at it, yeah, you win. Well, then, you know what, though? He needs to not do that because there's a second... <laughs> because <laughs> also, though, if pa- you're in the white- Aryan Brotherhood, <laughs> it's maybe very- not worth it. <laughs> if you love Kesha as much as I do or more than I do, so I unironically love Kesha. Well, that be known. Okay. What is the question for that? What is he answering? Um, first round. <laughs> I should have said that. First round <laughs> is on me if you like Kesha. You like Kesha. How do I know if I like Kesha? If you love Kesha you? as much as I do, or more than I do, Wait. so I unironically love Kesha. So let that be known. If it was Taylor Swift, maybe he'd have a chance. But <laughs> 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 okay, he's. Let's see. Understanding sarcasm and laughing at everything. Okay, so maybe he's joking about that, which in which case, yeah, let's not um, put a white power sign. (laughs) Here we go. Oh! This one's... These were the ones I skipped because it was like... What? Okay, so you pronounce my name Jose, (laughs) not (laughs) Jose. His name's Jose, bro. What was Don't. the prompt? What was the question or whatever? How do you, how do you say my name? Oh, my oh God. How, like, I get it for a weird name, but not Jose. <laughs> <laughs> and in the area where I live, I think you don't need to know how to say Jose. Yeah, same here. Yeah. How do you feel about things that, like, guys that are obviously, like, pandering with their like little slogan or little whatever and they'll write like stuff that you know like they think that women want to hear oh god is that super cringe to you because it really bothers me even because i don't i don't know if they actually even mean it but when they're like anything about a long walk on a beach or a this one so don't hate me if i text you in the morning just to say good morning and don't hate me if i text you in the afternoon just to say i'm thinking about you that's just how I am. I would say like that. Because mm-hmm. girls are like, I want you to text me in the morning. <laughs> I kind of say that. To some. <laughs> I say if you can go a day without texting me, then you don't care. And then I'm like, if you don't text me before noon, then you obviously aren't thinking about me. See how crazy I am? See? <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. That's this is why nuts. pants left me. <laughs> I'm psychotic. <laughs> Maybe my hinge of likes will start, or my Tinder likes will start going declining. What happened? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a psychopath, huh? But that, like, like you um... have to, you have to, um. Text me in the morning. The first thing when you wake up, I'm not going to text you first. I've said that recently. I don't like being left on read. I will say that. I'm oh, like, God. So, like, yeah. at noon, you read that nice thing that I said to you, and you sat on that for five hours. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. At least, like, hey, I've uh, been really busy today. Sorry, I'll get back to you. No. Mm-hmm. That's just common courtesy. But it really does say something, though. Like, I really do think it's becoming obvious. Like, if they don't, 
if they would wanted to, they would. That is that a total thing. It like, is a thing. Like with pants, like <laughs> the guy's name is something, but we're using pants as the nickname because there's a reason. Um, For reasons, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> identifiers so that we don't use their name. But so for the three days, the three days before he was finally like, nope. Um, he disappeared after seven o'clock. Oh. Duh, what was going on? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and so um, none of these have been really serious. So I feel like I can be crazy and see how it goes. <laughs> not like, not <laughs> so like I try out some new things. <laughs> Let me see how I can do so for, but for that, I did the thing where you call and you go to all of the profiles and of theirs and you leave a message because you don't know if they are alive or not. <laughs> but the- <laughs> <laughs> is what I say. I didn't know if you're alive. I had to find you. I had to check all of the profiles and leave you a message and text you a bunch of times to see if you're alive, which part of it is that I'm worried maybe something happened to them. But then, like... But how long do they have to disappear before you do that? <laughs> this is the telling part. Like, if they don't text me by 10 a.m. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you were dead. I called all the hospitals in the area. <laughs> I think um, if they don't respond after 8 p.m. By midnight, I'm like, oh, okay. What's happening? <laughs> Something's happening. Yeah. And then my and then that I spiral. I'm like, dude's fucking sleeping. What if he didn't get home, okay, because he got in a car accident? What if he got arrested and he doesn't know anybody's <sighs> phone number? What county does he live in? Maybe I should look for your, all the jails. Which <laughs> it's like <laughs> so spiral if somebody's, alert. If somebody's going out um at night, I find like usually those you talk earlier and they say like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to a concert tonight or whatever. Exactly. And then you don't even expect to hear from them. That yeah, and then it's issue. fine. Then I don't care. Because you know, like, oh, he's out doing something. I'm, you know, I'm gonna we're not going to hear from him. But yeah, yeah, if they don't say anything all day and then they're gone. And then especially if you don't hear from them the next day, you're like, okay. <laughs> and, and Do I suck? Or like, did they accidentally walk in front of a train? <laughs> well, and I'm like... I didn't hear from him for most of the day. And I was like, look, if you even want to hang out or keep doing whatever, like, you at least need to respond to me. Like, I'm getting a little, this is getting a little desperate. But that was, I was desperate in that way. (laughs) Um, So he was finally like, well, he pussed out and he texted. I was like, you need to let me know what I want to do. Because in my head, I wanted to move, like, start going back on Tinder to get over it. Uh-huh. Um, but um, he's like, yeah, sorry to do this to you, but I don't think I want to do this. I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. But <laughs> why did you text it, like, all weird like that? Yeah, but, that's... But who's snapping me now? That's right. So oh. we'll see. I'm not touching it because I got – I'm fine right now. I'll wrap it up by saying if you want your Hinge, Tinder, any of the profiles reviewed um, anonymously but on the podcast, um, send a message via BigTimeFresh.com or just because it's easy to find. Otherwise, it goes to the DMs that get hidden from my inbox and I'll never see it. So um, you can do that and... um, say yeah you want to we'll reach back out and then we'll have you on as a guest on the show and if you want to be anonymous we can do that as well but i think that'll but be, it'll super be super fun. fun yeah um yeah i know it will be <laughs> and plus come on guys what's coming up oh no you have a while till holiday season comes yeah. up so you can get in there date and you can get out before christmas time so you don't have to buy presents yeah. So mm-hmm. it's important to do a snap. <laughs> but with that, I say bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>